Today we are making the third and final wise man for our Christmas nativity scene, but let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Okay, this is the third king in the series, and as ever, I'm going to do these 15 millimeter intervals. So that's 15, 30, 35, 60, and I'm going to put 75 down there. And as ever in this whole series, that top bit is going to be the face. And we're going to do similar thing we've done with all the others. There's kind of an oval there. And then we're going to have a sort of box underneath and a box underneath again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing a little curve like that. And then the face coming down underneath it. Then I'm going to come out like that, like a little sausage around the top there. And then kind of a crown on the top and then you're going to see that bit behind. Now uh, he's going to have his eyes looking down in reverence. There's his nose and then a kind of a heart shape for his beard and moustache which will then be dark underneath there. And then a little line. That's the shadow under the bottom of his lip. <laughs> now he's going to be carrying a box of gold. And, or it could be the frankincense. It depends which way you want to look at it. So this is going to be a box. And um, we'll see his fingers here. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And there's a kind of a lid on the top there. And it's going to be held in a box with, with a kind of key thing on the front and he's going to have a little bit of fanciness so he'll have furry collars there as well and his hair is going to come very very simply just down like that so flick it out flick it out flick it out and then bring it in like that and then we might want to curve it around so it's easier to cut out as well. So curve it out around to the top. And then he's going to have a fur line to his coat, which is going to come down here. So follow that line down there. And then that's going to come around and then back up here. So in kind of two L kind of shapes like that. And then his sleeves will come around to join in there and that will come there and up and then that will be the rest of his coat swinging out there and let's give him a bit of fur trim on the bottom of his tunic thing which will come down like that now i'm going to do a kind of a crisscross pattern we'll go back there so it's, it's going to be like he's got a quilting i suppose and then we can put a little something in each diamond. And I think with the king, then you want sort of a more luxurious kind of effect. So the more detail goes in there, the better. And maybe we can put a little bit of something in there. When you're sure that the ink is dry, erase the pencil lines. And I'm going to be using milky white like I use in a lot of these characters. And I forgot there, but leave a little bit of white for the cheek. And um, we're going to want fingers like that. Then I use this colour called fruit pink, which is just a little bit pink, just to bring in a bit of extra shade. Now this fur, we'll just need a little bit of kind of greyness like that to give it shadow. And we'll give him a golden crown. And then the lock here will be gold and those little corner bits as well. I'm going to make it the gold is in a kind of a wooden box because you don't want to be too ostentatious do you? <laughs> and then also I'm going to put a little bit of a little bit of brown on the edges of this gold which will just warm it up a little bit. We're going to want sort of red or something very plush in the hat section of the crown and we can probably echo that 
in the rest of the coat here. Which made him look a bit like Santa Claus suddenly, doesn't it? Well, we'll forget about that. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to want something kind of complementary with the red. I'm going to be daring and go for I think or aqua and go for this kind of blue colour and be very lush about this whole thing because he's a king, so he can dress how he likes. <laughs> and then I'm just going to put little flicks in the corner of each of these little triangle diamond things which will just kind of make them look a little padded and then maybe around the bottom there like that and i think this should probably be ermine so i'm going to put some little spots in the fur which then sort of takes some of the father christmas santa clausness away out of it and let's cut him out and always remember to keep your fingers behind the scissors behind the blades and if you're using knives and things behind the blades uh, scissors, scissors are sharp and you can hurt yourself with them so do be careful and if you're a youngster doing this then you know maybe you need oh you see look I'm facing my finger there which is not a good idea you don't need to do great big snapping kind of cuts do very short controlled cuts like that some shapes are harder to cut than others and you just need to take your time there we are, and I'm going to need a little piece of stand about that size. Glue underneath, blob of glue on the front. And we'll stick the king on there like that. So if that's the surface, then he'll be sitting on the surface like that. So there's our third and final king. And next, I'm going to show you how to draw a pair of adoring 